Simai Mane is not disappearing from the political fray. The former DA leader left the party two weeks ago, but says his commitment to South Africa is still intact. In an exclusive interview with ENCA, Maimane revealed that some within his former party made it impossible for him to stay on. Sam Kelly Maseko actually spoke to him. So, Sam, this is an interesting one because Musi Maimane has not spoken since he actually announced his resignation from the DEA. So, well done to you for getting the interview. What is he saying about the low showing in the past election and what it meant for him to leave? Also, the fact that he jumped ship. Why? Well, Chan, it's uh, great teamwork that we got to this interview with the whole politics desk here at ENCA. But uh, Musi Maimane is essentially saying that... Uh, he jumped ship because it became untenable for him to continue being with the DA leader because of a small minority within the party that wanted to pursue its minority interests within the political formation. Some were inside the Democratic Alliance, some were with the Institute of Race Relations. And that became so unbearable, particularly after the 2019 general election where the DA suffered at the internal polls, saying that this notion that he was pushing for one South Africa for all, for taking the DA into communities where it's never been before, was never in embraced and this ultimately led to him leaving this political formation. Let's just listen to what he's had to say about how he was eventually pushed out of the Democratic Alliance. If you look at the electoral results in, 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 in May this year, it became clear that in some ways our country was fraught with a racial polarization. It became clear that a few South Africans happened to not want a project of a reconciled South Africa that redresses historical injustices. It so happened that some happened to be in an institute, and it so happened that others happened to find themselves within the DA. It's those particular individuals that then over a period of time made leading the organization harder. Sounds to me like he's basically saying in a very, you know, untoward way that the DA is racist. In a very diplomatic and succinct manner, he was saying the DA is racist, the DA wants to continue representing int interests of a small minority and not represent the total demographics of South Africa in a way that he says that particularly after the 2019, this year's election, it became apparent that a small minority within the party working with the Institute of Race Relations you remember Hermanus Pretorius mm -hmm. with that letter, white man, premier of the Western Cape, effecting change, saying that they were particularly interested in this particular demographic and not the totality of the racial issues belittling South Africa and the socio-economic inequalities that persist and still ravage the black majority within the country. You should learn a thing from Patricia DeLille and actually be blatant about what's going on after <laughs> he left. So let's talk about his political future. What's that going to look like? He is not saying whether they are forming a new political party or not. He says that there will be a new vehicle that they are in consultation with, with the various actors and role players. They are still in consultation phase. They will see how their consultations go forward. And those particular individuals will make an announcement with himself at a particular appropriate time. That's when this announcement will be, make, will be made. But he is not leaving the political arena. He loves South Africa and wants to continue building one South Africa for all outside of the Democratic Alliance. Interestingly, he says that the opposition space, which is currently held by the DA as the official opposition, will be a contested terrain which will not solely be dependent on the Democratic Alliance, which says a lot from a former mm. leader of this political party. But let's just hear what he had to say about this new vehicle that he is part of and forming. Mr. Memani, do you still see yourself in politics in a year's time to come? Yeah, I love this country. I love the people of this country. I love the vision that I've articulated of a non-racial South Africa, an inclusive South Africa, a country upon which opportunities and are given to all citizens. This is something I will give my life to. I, I, I have spent the, the last while obviously engaging different um, actors, different players in society. And at the right time, I think uh, those particular individuals need to be able to articulate for themselves. My, my duty is to say, what I know is that the system as we have it now doesn't work. How do we change it for the future? And so at the right time, we will we'll be able to communicate what that in fact will look like and how we can engage more society. I think more citizens must have a dialogue. And 
It's very interesting because I remember, and I'm, I might be using the word loosely here, because I remember Hang saying that they were launching a new vehicle or venture as well. So we can draw the links, right? You can draw the links and you can pretty much tell that uh, the former leader of the DA feels disheartened, feels out, out hot done by the DA. And what I particularly found interesting, which will probably be in the 10-minute insert we'll play later on, is what he had to say about his former chief whip, mm -hmm. John Steenhazen which is rather interesting because he doesn't say they've got a rosy relationship. He says that uh, he's got a new career path that is totally devoid of what uh, John Steen Hazen is wanting to pursue within the Democratic Alliance and also hinting that John Steen Hazen and the leadership of the Democratic Alliance may, want, may be wanting to pursue interests of a small minority group yeah. which he's not part of.